Hi all, welcome to another episode of the Authentication Paradox series. I'm Mandeep Khera, Chief Marketing Officer for Secure Auth. And in this series, we cover different topics on authentication uh, that folks can uh, make use of. And we have a guest speaker every, every time. And this time we have a special guest speaker, Noshad Hussan Baksh, who's our Technical Director of Product Strategy. Welcome, Noshad. Thank you. So Noshad, let's start with, you know, passkeys has become such a big buzzword in the last 12 months or so, right? Uh, so let's start with the foundational question of what are passkeys? Yes, um, passkeys are actually an alternative to password. Um, they are based on FIDO2 standard and rely on cryptographic, uh, uh, cryptographic keys to provide a phishing uh, resistant form of authentication. Um, the private key can be generated and stored securely on the end user's device, also known as the authenticator, while the public key is used by the target application to validate the signature. Got it, got it. And, and so what, why why have so many organizations started using passkeys lately? Yes, I think I think like you said, there's a buzz around it. So people, you know, organization are kind of, you know, a little bit more conscious that, you know, passkeys is a convenient form of authentication. And more importantly, it's the kind of it's kind of at the moment the go-to way of replacing password, which we know is is not is not the most secure form of authentication. So you you think uh, are passkeys effective uh, for passwordless authentication? So there there's a big difference between uh, passkeys and the traditional you know FIDO based um, authentication. Uh, so the, the main driver of, of passkey actually is to drive adoption, is to really kind of, you know, bring a, a new user experience kind of element uh, when it comes to authentication and uh, registration uh, of your uh, credential. Now, end users can simply uh, uh, register their FIDO credential on a device and then uh, sign in with that same uh, pair of credential on a separate device, on a different device. This becomes uh, possible because the pass keys actually can be synced uh, to cloud services like Apple and Google, and hence become available across across devices. Uh, and this type of of pass key that are not really tied to the uh, to the device, right, to the authenticator, they are more convenient from an user perspective. But the problem with that is obviously it's not device bound; it's not really secure as a device bound credential. So then would you say, given you know what you just explained, uh, would you say that uh, pass keys are really not enough for strong passwordless authentication as well as supporting zero trust architecture, especially if you look at the both workforce side and the consumer side? Yes, I, I believe um, when when it comes to uh, you know to the corporate asset right from from a workforce standpoint, obviously, Passkeys are not really, really designed really to kind of make it more secure. Like I said, it's really more for convenience. So it will uh, drive adoption, you know, of passwordless authentication for sure. However, when we talk about zero trust, it is critical to continuously reassess the end user a security posture before authorizing access to data. So relying on on passkeys only isn't enough, uh, especially in today's distributed environment where uh, end users may be using different devices, including non-managed mobile phone, for example, uh, to access to corporate data uh, from different geolocalization. Right? Got it. So what would you recommend that organizations do? Because given all these buzzwords and all these technologies that are being thrown at them, what, what do you think they should do? I, I think it is important to couple uh, biobehavioral um, risk assessment with a phishing resistant form of authenticator including device bound credential right uh, passkeys but essentially secure form of 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 passkeys right um in order to provide a more robust and um, you know secure form of of uh, authentication right and this will actually allow uh, you know organization to be more aligned with um zero trust standard uh, uh, and uh, what i would recommend doing you know from a uh, authentication and authorization perspective is to make sure you know organization get the most out of contextual data and threat intelligence coming from different sources across the company and and leveraging you know ai ml based uh, you know model to really comprehensively authenticate and authorize users 
before giving access to uh, whether it's corporate data or whether it's from a consumer perspective. But you know, the fact that these data are there, uh, it's just make more sense from a from from a security perspective to leverage everything and use the IML, uh, you know, machine learning behind. Uh, to really um, assess the uh, authentication uh, posture, the level of assurance, as we call it. Yeah, no, that makes a lot of sense. So I think the message is um, really passkeys is a good step forward, but not enough. So don't get into false sense of security. There's more to be done. Is that fair? Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. And Rashad, thank you very much for sharing your insights. I think uh, people will really um, benefit from this. So thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Thanks. And thanks everyone for listening to this and um, wait for the next episode of the Authentication Paradox from SecureAuth. In the meantime, check out our website, secureauth.com and there's an ROI calculator there. Check out that and see how overall passwordless authentication uh, can help you. And there's a blog that Noshad wrote on pass keys and why pass keys are not enough. So you should check that out as well. Thank you again for joining. Thank you.